Welcome back to another video. Today I'm just talking about one of my favorite childhood shows, which is Beyblade. Now, in a previous couple of months, there was a Beyblade trend called as Beyblade, as serious as we thought. And I just want to talk about the beauty of Beyblade. As we've grown up, whether you're around my age or even a little bit older, as you've seen Tyson, Jenga, Kai, Ryuga, you've seen all these people that you end up brooding for, talking about, and for the fact that you even buy their blade blades, try to imitate what you see on screen with the launches, with the with the cadences, you just try to get the best bay to come to school with, with the stadium, oh my goodness, you cannot tell me as we've watched all the Beyblade, we've watched all the ridiculousness, and as we see it kept getting as more ridiculous for example why did they why why was there a blade blade for moses what it what happened also continuing there must there was a Beyblade world war one and world war two you can't tell me that's just not funny to think about of course as well as there's a beauty that comes with it as most of our childhoods envelop in that. We talk about it. We talk about how strong our bay was. I had L, I, I don't know if I had the second L Drago. It was like L Drago with a special launcher with it with a couple of buttons. And let me tell you, I went around my elementary school flying. I went over to my elementary school flying. And just like many other schools, they had to ban the stadiums. I, I have no idea why. They didn't ban the bays, but they banned the stadiums. And we still went there. We let it rip on the table. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and I came out winning nine times out of ten. But then, then it got way more serious. We start. They started betting uh, candy. Started betting candy, food, snack, lunch. They was getting real devious, and I was only eight. I stepped back. I'm like, I'm not losing my food for this. I refuse. <sighs> right? And that's the beauty of Beyblade. If you've watched this show, if you've not even, if you haven't watched this show, or you haven't engaged in the toy, this may have been the wrong video for you. But again, it's something we hold near and dear to our childhood. As many of us grow up, many of us look as Beyblade as nostalgic of course if you still watch it you still engage of the community of Beyblade go right ahead it still has a very strong sense of community Beyblade tournaments even and it's all fun in terms of that you can never really grow out of something you could just get old of it like yeah something I used to do but Beyblade is still like a fun show now I dropped it during uh Beyblade bursts i'm a little bit older so yeah i dropped it during blade blade burst i watched the first couple of seasons of blade blade burst and i just completely fell off at towards quad strike I mean, once quad strike came out that was it for me but as you've seen fault jenga tyson as they all did it with different methods jenga being the more overpowered protagonist out of the three of course not the more over, most overpowered in the show that just belongs to one man and one man only. That boy Ryuga, who will never be surpassed in power, but with all, but within all Beyblade Blade generations. Not even this new one, Beyblade X. Come on now. So as we just see that, we root for Jenga. We root for Tyson. We root for the teams behind it. We root for Kai. I don't know if anyone rooted for Brooklyn, but they root for Brooklyn. We rooted for not Ryuga and Jenga, but Jenga and Kiyoya to get on good terms. Kiyoya being, we wanted Kiyoya to eventually face off into Ryuga. Even now, with us having such a strong, you know, with social media, t uh, different platforms able to share more like we have Beyblade dream matches we wanted to see Ryuka versus not we want to see Ryuka rematch Jinka for one final time I would have loved to see that rematch at the end as I don't know about you <laughs> I really don't now I don't know if you got this far in this video but I don't know about you but I really wanted Jinka to rematch Ryuka it's for Jinka to legitimately win against Ryuka because the only time Ryuka lost to Jinka is because his bay took over him and i'm not saying that's not a fair loss it's not it's not they needed to run the ones back and see kiyoya eventually get into the realm of the of that three because i don't ever i know kiyoya and jinka are rivals per se but i just 
I just don't think Kiyoya and Ryuga were rivals. I think Ryu Ryuga only respected Jenga for anybody else. <laughs> anybody. We even even though the last season of Beyblade, I don't I think it was called Metal Fury. Even though the last season of my Blade Blade, my generation of Beyblade was a little bit shaky. And Nemesis, a little bit shaky. But his father, a little bit shaky. Who no else? The star, the star fighting the days, a little bit shaky. And then the Beyblade multiverse. I'm not, I'm not. I guess I'll do a different video about that. Because the Beyblade multiverse was wild. That's a different video entirely. Let me tell you about it. <laughs> but... But that's the beauty of it. It's something we love to do, love to see. We love to talk. We like to talk about it. Now, I don't know if you've gotten this far. Just drop down in your uh, comment section, A, what was your favorite bay? What was your favorite bay blader in the anime? What was your favorite, no, what bays did you own? And do you still own any bay blades, of course? I think I own a couple. I'm not really sure where any of those go. Uh, I, you know, they get lost in all the shuffling in your life. <laughs> But respectfully to Beyblade, respect, you know, the love, the beauty of it. You've gained to know these characters. You get to, you even get attached to the base. Like, you don't want him to lose the first generation Pegasus, the first generation Dragoon, the first generation uh, Drago. First gen, like, you see them bays eventually evolve, get better as they get better, as you like the series as their abilities get way more like hey yo they're 12 what is happening right and then you get to more of the then you get to my my generation of beyblade because i didn't really want to buildings setting explosions off in the buildings destroying meteors with their base it was some generational stuff also counterpoint if you've made it this far in this video technically i know if anime only where a lot of people are anime only right yuga isn't dead <laughs> he's gone away he doesn't participate in any bay battles of course but he's not dead at least manga wise anime wise they kind of leave it up to ambiguity as he just gives his power to G uh, kenta and just that confirms his death i guess for the anime wise but manga he's not dead like, at all he, he just chilling Ryuka's way of being like, yeah, doses, you know? Of course, like and subscribe, and I'm just saying, that is the beauty of Beyblade. It brung so many people that you would never think would have been friends, be friends, just because they watched the same show. They talked about the same show. They seen Jinka, they seen Tyson. They wanted to battle it out with their bays. They wanted to put snack betting on these bays. And it was one crazy generation. So that was the beauty and love for Beyblade. So, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.